Good morning, grade 11 physics class, and welcome to Friday morning, May the 29th, and uh, it's the last day of the week for you, and uh, hopefully uh, things are going well for you. Uh, as we get started today, I do want to again share a verse of the day with you, and today's comes from Psalm 55, verse 22, where it says, Cast your cares upon the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. So again, just gain encouragement from that. Know that the Lord is with you and that he will sustain you and that he will not let you fall. All right. Um, today, all I'm going to do for you today, with you today, is I'm going to go over two questions from the assignment that you had yesterday. Question number 19 and 21. They're probably the two most difficult ones on that. And if you have other questions, you can certainly still email me and ask. Uh, and then I'm going to give you a bit of a, a summary of questions, a review of sorts on plane mirrors and curved mirrors. So it'll be sort of all together, uh, plane mirrors, both con and then concave and convex mirrors. And that will end off that section of this unit. Okay, and we're still in our light waves unit. And what we're going to move into then next week, starting on Monday, is um, lenses and refraction, right? We have all of our different properties of waves. We've looked at reflection now. Next, we're going to look at refraction, which means what happens is light travels through one medium into another medium and then out again. All right, let's take a look at questions 19 and 21. So if we read question 19, it says that, I'll start writing. It says that we have a convex mirror so that's key, first of all. And it's needed to produce an image that is three-fourths the size of the object. So what that means is this. HI has to equal three-quarters of HO. Now, another way of saying that is the magnification has to be three-quarters. Okay, and we have a formula that's going to help us out in a minute. All right, then it says... And this image is located 24 centimeters behind the mirror. All right, so convex mirror is needed to produce an image that is three-fourths the size and located 24 centimeters behind the mirror. So that tells us that the image distance is negative 24 centimeters. And then the question says, what focal length should this mirror have? Okay, so... Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to think, take our magnification formula, which is M equals to HI over HO, which equals to negative DI over DO. All right. And we're not given a ton of information, but with this information, we can ignore this piece in the middle here and M equals negative DI over DO will help us to find the DO, which is the object distance. All right, so we're gonna go three quarters equals to negative DI over DO. And DO is, why don't I put, sorry, not DO. Why don't I put my numbers in here while I'm doing this? Negative 24 over DO. All right, and if I do this and I solve for DO, we will get a DO of 32 centimeters. All right, and again, the object will be in front of the mirror. We've got a positive answer. Remember, positives are in front, negatives are behind, so our, our image was behind the mirror. Okay, all right, now that we have that, now we can use 1 over F equals 1 over DI plus 1 DO, and we'll start plugging in our numbers here. 1 over F equals 1 over negative 24 plus 1 over 32. And you could punch this into your calculator. Uh, it's not a difficult uh, thing to punch into your calculator. Uh, but remember, this is solving for 1 over F. So if you do this, you're going to get 1 over F equals to 1 over, I believe it was 96. All right, so 1 over F equals 1 over 96. That means that F equals to 96 centimeters. All right. Question 21 says we have a 1.8 meter girl, 
tall girl stands 2.4 meters from the store's security mirror. Her image appears to be 0.36 meters tall. What is the focal length of the mirror? All right, so we have a HO, a height of our object. That's the height of the girl, it's 1.8 meters. The mirror shows her height to be 0.36, so that's HI equals to 0 0.36. And she stands, so the DO equals to 2.4 meters. And again, we are asked to find the focal length. So again, our mirror equation, 1 over F equals 1 over DI plus 1 over DO. To solve for F, we need DO, but we can find DO using our magnification formula. So again, the magnification formula is HO. I'm sorry, HI over HO equals negative DI over DO. And let's plug our numbers into there. We have 0 0.36 over 1.8 equals negative DI over 2.4. If we solve for DI correctly, again, you just can take this 2.4, multiply it up here, and divide by negative 1. Okay, well, yeah, right. So, 0.36 times 2.4 divided by 1, 1.8, and then we have to divide by the negative 1 to get rid of that negative sign, and we will get a di of negative 0 0.48 meters. All right, now we have to use our formula again. our mirror formula. And again, we're going to go 1 over f equals to 1 over negative 0 0.48 plus 1 over 2.4. We won't write the units down for now. All right, now this is where it gets tricky. If you're trying to use your calculator for this and punching this in as a fraction, this will not give you an answer. Your calculator is not smart enough to put a decimal into a fraction, because that's really a bad mathematical don't do. It's a no-no. All right, you can't have decimals in fractions. You either have decimals or you have fractions. So there's a couple of different ways you can do it if you want to punch it into your calculator. You could punch this into your calculator. You could put brackets around these on your calculator. And you would put, you would take bracket, one divided by, not your fraction, but, but divided by, negative 0.48, close the bracket, plus open bracket, 1 divided by 2.4, close the bracket, and that would tell you what 1 over f equals, and then you flip it over, all right? So if you do that, you should get, oh, I don't remember what you get, but in the end, you're going to get f equals negative 0.6, all right? Um, so again, you can do this in parts too. You don't have to do it all in one step on your calculator. And it's probably the calculator part that's the issue here. But again, you could do, just punch this into your calculator, get the answer, write it down. Plus, punch this into your calculator, write it down. Then you have one over F equals the sum of those two things, which will give you one over F equals a number. And then you just have to find the reciprocal. All right, and the final answer here is F equals negative 0.6. And it was in meters. Again, I left the units out in the equation, and that's okay, but all of our units were in meters, and it is important that you make sure that the units are all in the same unit. If you had meters and centimeters, you'd have to do some conversions. All right, um, but that's how this works. I'm guessing if you had questions, it's in this calculation right here, how you do this on your calculator, and uh, that's hard for me to, to show you. Uh, without, but again, do it in separate parts. Do this, do this, add them together, you get one over F equals your number, and then you take the inverse of that number. All right, I hope that helps. If not, send me an email, uh, shoot me a, t a phone call, whatever it takes, get a hold of me, and uh, we'll be able to uh, answer any other questions that come up. Again, today you're gonna find an assignment on Connect out of your textbook, so do that. Monday we start with refraction. All right, have a great weekend, and we'll see you on Monday.